We are LMTV, Lindmar Television. Lindmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Lindmar. It's Morse code day, Wednesday, April 27th, 2016. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Lindmar campus. Our top story, the NHS blood drive is going on right now. If your appointment is later today, we have the info you need. LMTV's anchor in training, Ludney, has that story. Ludney? Thanks, Nick. That's right. The NHS blood drive is going on as we speak. If you haven't donated yet, here are some things you need to know. The white donor van will be parked just outside door 9. Go down the stairs across from the main entrance to the cafeteria, then go towards the gym. To the left of the gym doors is door 9. The van will be parked right outside that door. Remember to go to your sign time. Nick, back to you. Thanks, Ludney. In other news, seniors, your cords hours are due to Mr. Becker by Monday. If you want your silver cord, you must turn in your cards. Don't forget, anyone with outstanding parking fines or, or detentions will not be allowed to go to prom. If you have any questions, see Mr. Robertson. We will be back with more LMTV news right after this. The Lynn Mar Drama Department presents The Music Man, April 28th, 29th, and 30th at 7 p.m. in the Lynn Mar Auditorium. Tickets are only $10 each. Traveling salesman Harold Hill arrives in the quiet town of River City, Iowa with the intent of conning the locals into buying a boys band. His plan succeeds until the town's librarian catches on to his devious plan. Don't miss The Music Man during the last weekend of April at 7 p.m. in the Lynn Mar Auditorium. Welcome back. Seniors, be sure to let the 1112 office know of any scholarships or other honors you have received. You must bring your notification letter for proof. The information is needed for the graduation program and senior recognition night and is due Monday. Now, Garrett is here with sports. Garrett. Thanks, Nick. On the scoreboard, girls tennis beat Dubuque Senior 9 to nothing. Boys tennis also beat Dubuque Senior 63. Girls golf at Hunters Ridge, Lamar came in fourth out of 13 teams. Boys soccer fell short to Iowa City West, 4-2. Today in Linmar Sports, JV Girls Golf competes at Pleasant Valley Golf Course at 3. Team dismissed at 105. 10th grade and JV Girls Tennis plays at Jefferson at 4.30. At the same time, 10th grade and JV Boys Tennis plays Jefferson on our courts. That's at 4.30. In other sports news, the annual intramural dodgeball tournament is almost here. Put together an 8-person team and see Mr. Stryker in the locker room for forms. All forms will be due by Thursday. Games will be played before school in the auxiliary gym. That's sports, Nick. Back to you. Thanks, Garrett. In news from the counselors, Kirkwood's Fall 2016 class catalog is out now. Students interested in taking Kirkwood classes first semester of the next school year can make an appointment with their counselor to sign up for classes. For more information on this story, stop by our counselor's office or check out their blog or website. Now, Michaela joins us with the Arts and Clubs. Michaela? Thanks, Nick. On the Arts and Clubs scene, the annual Soda Stand Volleyball Tournament is Friday, May 13th. Anyone interested in playing in the tournament, pick up a sand volleyball entry form from Kevin McCauley. This is open to all students. Attention Soda members, anyone interested in going to Adventureland this Saturday, see Kevin McCauley for trip information. Anyone interested in joining Tri, please see Kevin McCauley for an application. Anime Club t-shirt order forms are due to Mrs. Dayton's office no later than this Friday. Pick up your order forms today. Project 7 meets today after school in the food court. FFA members who would like to help with Ag in the Park on Friday, May 6th, should see Miss Lemmer today. That's your club update. Nick, back to you. Thanks, Michaela. Hey, Garrett, what's for lunch? Well, today is rotini with meat sauce, a breadstick, romaine lettuce, or the yoga bar. In the food court, it's the famous pasta bar. That's lunch. Nick, back to you. Thanks, Garrett. It sounds delicious. Now, LMTV's talented weather forecaster, Garrett Hyde, is here with your midweek forecast. Garrett. Thanks, Nick. Your LMTV forecast calls for a rainy day today with a high of around 54. For tomorrow, there's a 50% chance of rain with a high of around 53. And Friday looks partly sunny at the high of around 61 with a slight chance of rain later that evening. That's your midweek forecast. Nick, back to you. Thanks, Garrett. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day.